Is it true that Squim has a blue hole? Well, that's what I want to talk about on the video today. Hi, this is Chuck Murundi. The Squim Blue Hole, or the Squim Rain Shadow, as some call it, is real. And here's the proof. This map shows that Squim gets an average of 16 inches of rain annually. And in an uneven set of concentric circles extending out from Squim, the rainfall increases dramatically into the Olympic Mountains to the south until the rainfall reaches 200 inches annually. If you want to live in an area with a manageable and pleasant climate, you may want to live in the Squim Blue Hole. The Great Rainforests are only 40 miles as the crow flies south of Squim in the Olympics. To officially be called a rainforest, the area must receive at least 100 inches of rain annually. The Squim Blue Hole is explained by scientist Andrew Boyd this way. Quote, during the winter months, strong moist winds from the west blow in from the Pacific. The mountains deflect those winds upward from sea level to over 7,000 feet. They're cooled on the 70-mile trip across the mountains. Almost all the water they contain condenses out in the form of snow or rain. That's what causes the Olympic rainforest. Then the air, now wrung out and relatively dry, makes its steep descent. Only after it passes over Squim does it begin taking on more water as it heads off towards Seattle, end quote. Well, there you go. Now you know how the Squim Blue Hole is created. No wonder Squim is such an incredibly pleasant climate. And no wonder so many retirees have been quietly moving to Squim for so many years. There really is a squim blue hole. I'm Chuck Murundi, and I hope you'll come and visit us and experience the squim blue hole for yourself. <laughs>